okay so let's see the second uh, feature from Cypcat okay uh, in this case uh, we'll talk al about the um, punching shear studs okay we'll see some details that we change it a little bit here in the software um, so I have another project that I already left open here also at Cypcat another uh, just a, a example for the tests okay so it's not a real project uh, but it's very peculiar because we have these corners, these uh, very strange corners here, okay, in the different levels that we have. This um, uh, little structure, it's already analyzed, okay, so the analysis uh, was finished, and I am here in the results tab. So let's imagine that uh, for the Persian, uh, uh, I can add some uh, uh, elements here, some elements in these uh, slabs, for example open here these labs to add punching shear elements punching shear bolts okay so with this button here i can add it actually in my project let me change this lab here uh, i already introduced some of these elements here in different situations here okay and uh, there are some new features that we have been implementing in the past versions and we are finishing in this one because now you can introduce uh, mm, these boats from specific brands, okay, different brands that produce this kind of boats, because we see this little catalog management here, okay, and from this version, or actually two or three updates ag ago, but now we are finalized, uh, we are uh, adding the, the, a little bit more elements from Peiko, okay, from Peiko, so here I can download these mm, elements, actually I already downloaded in my in my software okay uh and then these elements they will be available here to introduce okay um when we add one of these elements okay we have here options to introduce different types of elements and we can also generate these elements automatically and when we select this uh push this punching shear reinforcement there are different types for example, uh, with um, reinforcement inclined at 45 degrees, beam type reinforcements, but in this case we are talking about the studs, okay? And when we talk about the studs, here we see this little icon again. It means that Peiko or those, those manufacturers that will be introducing the next versions here at Cypcat, they will be available to be selected here, okay? And according to the geometrical and mechanical properties that Peiko, in this case, uh, in, in, had in their uh, technical information, now we will import this, this, these properties to the project, okay? So all this uh, data, now we just have to select the model of, of the boat here, the stud, and, uh, and then use these properties, okay? One of the main points that I think it's very important in this case of Peiko mm, is that uh, if we see here the, the description about this this new feature from the 2000 2005B version is that the studs that are uh, analyzed at Cypcat using the information from Peiko they are according to the specifications of the EOTA TR060 that is the European Organization for Technical Assessment. Okay, so this this these studs, this per, this this Persian shear studs from Peiko are um, according to this um, regulation. Okay, if you wanna understand a little bit more about this regulation, what I recommend to you is just search for Google to this this in the Google to this uh, this uh, code here. You find easily. It's uh, it's for free. Okay. And then you can find more information about these uh, safety conditions that were um, considered in this case. Okay. Um, another point that we can see here is that after analyzing these structures, we can see in the checks, the summary of these checks, uh, let's open here, that somewhere here we will find, uh, if, uh, we'll find the, the, the points. Um, Mm, where these uh, elements were, uh, where this this regulation was uh, seated, okay, 
actually here I cannot find it but somewhere here in our reports let's open it uh, somewhere here I think if, if we do like this it's gonna be easier yeah so somewhere here we will we'll see that the one of these parameters it's gonna be related to that regulation okay uh, let me see here the external one uh, here the external zone to the punching shear reinforcement okay so there is a specific formula to that and here we can see that this parameter here the reduced factor for taking into account the effect of the eccentricity in the perimeter of according to this po point of the, the the regulation it was checked too okay so it's a special situation that will increase a little bit the security of your project and um, it's uh, a level a little bit higher that you can have in, in your project and uh, then uh, have better projects to, to, to then present to your, your clients. Okay, so remember that now you can also introduce the PECO boats to uh, the pushing reinforcements at Sidecat and you can also check according to this a regulation that is uh, because the PECO system is uh, according to that regulation. Mm -hmm.